A man's major responsibility in a family is to provide, to protect, and to love. Now, when it comes to a woman majorly, it's to do with taking care of the home, taking care of the kids, instilling discipline, etc., etc. However, this 20, 24, if you are a man watching this video, your woman or the woman you are planning to get into a relationship with or get into a marriage with should be having more that she can bring onto that table. And that brings us to the topic of discussion today. What are the major things that your woman should be able to bring onto the table this 2024? 20, one on my list is respect. Very important. Now, gentlemen, you need to understand that by nature, you are meant to be leaders. You are meant to be heads. You are meant to be fathers. Okay? So that alone should be able to gain you respect just from about any woman, especially one that wants to get into a relationship with you. Yeah? Now, it doesn't matter how more wealth this woman is. It doesn't matter how very pretty, very educated, very sophisticated she is. It doesn't matter how more popular she is than you. The mere fact that she is willing to walk into this journey of relationship with you, she should be willing to respect you. Now, as human beings, we are never perfect. So I'm not saying that this woman will not fault you in one way or the other. That can be tolerated with. But one of the things that no man should ever compromise with is a woman who disrespects him. Next point number two is intimacy. Hmm. Now, of course, one of the reasons why men would get into a relationship with a woman is emotional intimacy, yeah? So if this woman is never there for you or she only avails herself when things are convenient for her, when the month has ended, she knows that you have some money, that is when she's available. Mm. Don't tolerate that crap or this 20, 24. <laughs> Any woman who claims to love you should be willing to prioritize your feelings. So it could be um, during the weekends and you feel, you know, you want to wiggle a bit. She should make sure that she is available regardless. I mean, we don't want to care how busy she is, how fast she is. She should make sure that she avails herself as much as possible. Now, the other form of intimacy could be digital intimacy. I mean, you know, these days, it's possible that you are in a relationship, but then working in different states or working in different countries. Yeah. One of the ways that you can try to bridge the gap is by using digital. So probably you video call, probably you text. It also helps you. And the other last form of intimacy could be intellectual intimacy. Now, it could be that um, this lady has knowledge of your area of work. So cases where you get stuck and then you consult her, she should be willing to help you out where necessary. Hmm. Next point, number three, is independence and interdependence practices. Yeah. Now, when I talk about independence, what I'm trying to say is that this woman should be able to conclude certain things on her own. For instance, it could be that you have traveled and the kid has fallen sick. Yeah. Now, I don't expect her to overcall you and be like, hey, baby, the kid is sick. Now, yes, if it's so serious and she needs to really inform you, well and good. But the most urgent thing or urgent action this woman should do is take the child to hospital. And once the child has gotten medication and all that, then now she can inform you. That is being independent. The other form of independence would be financial independence, okay? No woman should be running to her man all the time. Oh, I want money for the hair. Oh, I want money to do my nails. Mm -mm. This 2024, we do not want those kinds of women. Every woman should be able to somehow be independent. Another part of interdependence, of course, it's never good for one of the partners to be independent. Yeah, so there should be a mix of independence and interdependence. And when it comes to interdependence, this is where you do certain things as a family. This is where you agree on certain things before probably uh, deciding where to take the kids, before probably deciding where to shop from, before deciding how much to spend, you sit as a family and you agree that is being interdependent. Well, before we move on to our point number four, in case you already love the video, you find the topic valuable, you find it interesting, you feel like there's sense in what I'm saying. <laughs> how about you pause for a while? Let's 
help me grow this channel in case you are watching me for the very first time probably you've been watching me but you've never ever subscribed this is the part where i get on my knees and be like please help me grow this channel now all you need to do is please subscribe turn on the bell notification so that each time i get to post you will be notified just like that okay and in case you agree with these points you really feel it's valuable please leave a like leave a comment and above all please share this video with your friends and family it helps me go viral okay next point number four is financial support now i know this is a point where the women will be like pam wait wait a bit are you saying that i should get my hand and money and give it to a man who is going to go and spend it florically with other women and i know on the other hand the men are like go pam go pam go pam tell them tell them <laughs> Now listen, when I say a woman should financially support her man, I'm referring to this man who has a job, he's hardworking, but at a certain point, because of certain reasons, maybe he has been laid off, maybe his business is lacking and he needs to put in some capital. This is why you as a woman should come. So women, hope my point is clear. This should be a man who is hardworking, but for certain reasons, you just need to back him up. Next point, number five is partnership. Now, this point is kind of the same as interdependence. What I'm trying to say is that in a family, it's important to have togetherness. In a family, it's good to work as partners, yeah? Now, it could be that one person has achieved success. It could be that one person has bought assets or properties. The celebrations should be as a team, okay? Now, when you have this kind of partnership, it helps you even in times of hardships. Why? Because when one person is going through hardships, it will kind of be felt by the both of you. Okay? Hope I'm making sense. So it's important to always, whatever you do as a family, it should be felt like partners. Whether it's celebrating success, whether it's hardships, whether you bought a property, it should be a joint celebration. So it's important to work as partners in your relationship. It will help you this 2024. So men, Make sure that you look out for a woman that you can easily pattern with. And lastly, point number six thing that a woman should be able to put on the table this 2024 is giving valuable advice. Hmm. Now, in as much as most of you men crave to have a woman who is financially stable, but one thing you forget is you need a woman who can advise you when and whenever required. It's very important. Now, it could be that you are having challenges at your workplace. It could be that there is this business that you want to venture into, but you are not sure whether or not to get into it. Each time you have a sensible woman, trust you me, you can never go wrong. So as you are thinking of getting into a relationship this 2024, make sure that you look for a woman with sense such that when things are hard when you have had a fight she's someone who can sit you down and be like babe you know what abcd has happened let's forget let's move on let's better our relationship that is what you need this year well guys that has been it from me to you let me know what you think in the comment section and before you get off please do me the owner of all. well guys that has been it from me to you let me know what you think in the comment section was this valuable? Is it going to help you get a good partner? Of course. I know if you follow these tips, it's going to give you the best results this 2024. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Pam Oil, aka GSP. And please, before you get off, in case you have not yet subscribed, please be a good boy, be a good girl. <laughs> Subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and please leave a like, leave a comment, and share this video with your friends and family. It really helps me grow my channel. Thank you once again. I'll see you in my next video.